Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time we are getting it all in Industria. This first person shooter was developed by Bleak Mill, published by Head Up Games, and is available for £16.99 slash $19.99 in the US. Big shout out to developers Bleak Mill for providing me a code, by the way. Now always be on the lookout of course for a sale, or hopefully a cheeky Game Pass edition in the future, Unless it's already on Game Pass now, in which case I meant to uh, get it right now. So we play as a young woman called Nora, who, after waking up and getting a frantic call from work colleague and secret lover Walter, ends up going into this parallel dimension, into this place nobody's been for 20 years. Oh, and it's also full of robots who want to kill you, which is always fun. Rise of the Machines! Now, as for achievements, I mean, this game has a very grey sky, uh, grey skies slash darker skies feel to it, but this time we can kick ass and the achievements are easier. A lot are just story related, but there are a few missables, mainly for interacting with certain things and picking up a few items. Nothing too difficult, but what would be hard is completing it on hardcore mode, but lucky, there's a trick that we can use at the end so we don't get all angry and bald. Eh, Mike? <laughs> Either way, even though the video is about an hour and a half long, depending on situations throughout the game, you're looking at maybe two to three hours to complete this. So, with that being said then, let us begin. And what we're going to do is play it on normal mode, where enemies are easier, um, it's harder to die. I mean, personally, I didn't die throughout the game, because it's not a game that if you get shot, you just hide in cover until you uh, replenish your health. You've got to have these little health files. But of course, on normal mode, there are plenty of them, so don't worry about that. So we're going to get an achievement straight away. Uh, of course, story related, but what we're going to do... Oh, look, a couple of months before I was born. I missed all this. God damn it. Um, so what we're going to do is just press the start button here to skip this cutscene. Now, of course, you move with the left stick. Uh, have a look at the camera. Move around with the right stick. And it's the B button to interact with stuff. So before moving, go around this corner, interact with the bin, and grab the item that is in the bin. That is called a hive ball. And that is the foreshadowing achievement. So you just pick it up and then press the B button there to drop it again. And then we can just head out of our front door. Again, press the B button to use. And then what we're going to do is just head all the way down the stairs. Very, very glittery floor. Man, I like this. Even in 1989, that's a banging floor. Unfortunately, the Tories have screwed us, so we can't actually afford anything nice anymore. But uh, there we go. So we're heading out the front door. Uh, you've got to click in the left stick to run. Um, and you've got to hold it. You can't just click it in once and you keep running. You've got to keep clicking in and holding the left stick to run. So what you're going to do is run all the way. Ah, crap, it's the darkness. Get ready to die. Meh, <laughs> just joking. We're not going to die just yet. Uh, but just keep sprinting all the way down for the time being until we get to the very front door of this big huge building. Oh, ready for the sprint and the jump? Ah! Hurrah! I win. I am gold medalist. Screw you, everyone else. All right, anyway, so um, here we are. By the way, of course, it is the A button to jump, just in case you were wondering. A button to jump. B button usually to interact with things. And, of course, we'll get with the gun stuff a little bit later on. So head through the front doors. Press the B button to use. Use and abuse. Get it out of the way. Turn to the left. Not the right, because there's nothing there. And then we're just going to interact with the elevator by pressing the B button rather than, of course, the A button. Because if you've seen someone try to jump, trying to get on an elevator, yeah, you'd think they were bloody mental, wouldn't you? So press the B button again to use. And death. <laughs> Just choking. Nah, not quite yet. Am I still dreaming? Focus, Nora. Focus. Yeah, come on, chicken Nora. Focus. So, head down, go through this first door on the left. And then what we're going to do is interact, come around the desk right here. And we are going to interact with the key card, which is just by the computer. Nothing else to do a minute. So head out, go to the left. Now what you need to do to use stuff in your inventory, press the select button. And then press the B button to use whatever it is that you want to use. Not that many items that we use throughout the game. 
So what you're going to do is see me go through the right door and pick up a note. Now there are notes and stuff scattered throughout the game, but you don't actually have to collect them. They're not for an achievement or anything. So I'll collect this one here, but I don't actually bother with the rest throughout the game. Go through to the door on the left right here and then interact with the computer in the top left corner for another achievement and foreseen consequences. So make sure that you get this one before heading out. So that should be the unforeseen consequences. Now we can head down the hallway and we need to interact with the code. It's not going to be 22222. What it is going to be is 2039. Okay? So 2309 is what I meant, obviously. 2309. So sorry I just steered you wrong for the first bit there, but 2309. And now you just wait to get desprayed and decontaminated because you are full of every disease known to man. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> Maybe not then. Still. No, 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 this doesn't look good at all. So, head towards the arrows. No, if something's exploding and starts shaking uncontrollably, probably isn't going to look good. Interact with the button here, the rough not lift. By the way, I'm going to be um, destroying a lot of the German language. So, if that really does your head in where somebody can't speak another language properly, probably not the video for you, to be honest, because I can barely speak English, let alone uh, any other languages. So, um... We just gotta wait for a second until the barrier on our right opens up, so we do just have to wait for just a little minute. Oh, there we go, they've just opened up. So, as soon as they do, let's start heading down. It's a pretty linear path uh, this way, so we just go up over here. And fair play to Chicken Cormanora, she's, uh, you know, smashing it like a boss. I'd probably just stay home and, uh, you know, wait for the inevitable end of the world, but that's just me, I am lazy with life. So head up this ladder, again press the B button to use, that's the, literally the majority of things that you're going to be pressing is the B button to interact with everything. Up the next ladder. I'm already knackered looking at her um, going up the ladder to be fair, so uh, no, fair play your chicken core menorah. Right, so head through, we're just going to head through and go to the right, and then go to the right again. Again, there's nowhere else you can go for now. Up and around. Now, there are not many puzzles in this game, but the ones that I do are random, and this is one that is quite random. So what you have to do is press B button to interact with this, and then what's going to happen is all of these shutters are going to open up. Now, all you have to do is quickly run to each one that is flashing. So they're all going to be green or red, I forget which one, but there's going to be one that is flashing, um, very obviously ones which are flashing. And then you have to go to that one and then press the switch button. But you do get counted down. So, as you can see, I've just gone... For, it's red, by the way, not green, obviously. So I've just gone for the wrong one. That's fine, because what it's going to do is it's going to open up eventually again anyway. So all you have to do is quickly spin around. Just have a look at which one is flashing. Again, it's pretty obvious after you press the keyboard again here. It'll be obvious which one it is. So if you can't see any that are blinking there, turn around. Because there are more... And there it is. So for me, it's going to be 5B. So quickly go over, uh, use that uh, switch to activate it. And again, you need to do this with three times. So again, just keep going. Keep having a look around. As soon as you get one gone, it's going to keep going. So keep spinning around. Have a look. And, one, and like I said, it's going to be random, this one. So it's not going to be the exact same for you. What we're going to do is just take it out. Uh, take a look around. And I think you just have to do five in a row before you are good. And luckily for me, I got it with three seconds to spare. So I don't actually know what happens if you fail it. I assume you would just um, go to a regular checkpoint uh, coming up just before this bit. Because the auto saves on normal mode anyway are quite generous to be fair. Um, which is all good. But this is where the parallel dimension begins. Alright, this is feeling weird now. I'm getting high. And it's not the high we used to. <laughs> oh my god, is this right? Depends what you're taking, to be honest, chicken korma. Oh
So after every sort of big level that we do, we are going to end up in this library. Now, that's not really a level. All we've got to do, we just wake up. You can have a look around and sort of interact with things, I think, if you want. But, of course, this has been an achievement guide. We're going to run straight and go straight through the door right here. And this is going to happen every time. So you just have to run through the corridor. And then we're always going to come to this room. Now, on the stage, there's always going to be something happening. Not sure what it is, but it is very dark. So when you get to the end here, if you turn to your left slightly, there is going to be a door that we can use to go through. There it is. That's going to be on your left as you sort of get to the end of the corridor. Run through to the end of the corridor, and then we will begin the game proper. But, of course, we're still not there in terms of uh, destroying robots and stuff like that just yet. Uh, yes, so if you are playing on Hardcore, the game obviously doesn't auto-save. You have to find typewriters to save your game. And to be fair, it would be a very hard completion to do this legit on Hardcore. Um, but again, we'll, we'll just have a look at that, you know, when we come to it a little bit later on. Again, luckily there's a little trick for us to use. So, now we begin the game sort of properly. Um, again, it's sort of still acts as a tutorial, whereas we've got to pick up more items and... Uh, we've got to do little things. So what we do from here then, we're going to turn around. There is a note on the desk behind us if you want uh, to be collecting the notes. Just a desk right there, but we're not going to bother from now. So what we do is just head towards this big shutter, press and hold the B button to use it. And like I said, this game has a, do -do 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 has a very grey skies feel to it. But uh, instead of just stealthing past everyone, we actually get to kill things, which is nice. So, head to the right here, there is going to be a missing valve wheel, or a regular valve wheel, just chilling, on its own. Okay, I don't know who or why somebody would have done that, but nobody's been here for 20 years, so I'll give them that. Right, this bit's going to happen automatically, basically this is our lamp. It's a chunky boy, but it works, so you just press the left bumper to use the lamp, but it does take battery. So, be careful not to keep it on all the time, otherwise you will run out of battery, even though there are quite a few... That we grab through the game. But again, try not to just use it all at once. Because some of the darker parts will be a bit trickier later on. So head to the left. There is a robot that's going to start chilling, walking past. He's not going to give a crap for now. We're going to head through this door. And through the end, we're going to get an achievement. And we're going to get our first weapon. One chunky boy pickaxe. And again, you just press the right trigger to smash everything up. Yeah, get out all your frustrations. What do people... People keep calling me Chicken Corma Nora. It makes no sense. So anyway, what we can do now, there we go. So we can press the left bumper, go all the way to the opposite side, almost the way we came into this bathroom, to grab a battery. Now, grabbing these batteries will top up your torch right there, the little torch icon you can see. So every time you grab a battery, uh, that will be topped up. But remember, try not to use your all of your lamp up, because some places do get quite dark in the game. So... Uh, smash up that and then go to the left here is what we're going to do because again what we are going to do is smash open a lot of these boxes which will house a lot of ammo and a lot of uh, items for us batteries and um, health potions and stuff so come up to the end smash this out and we'll we've just grabbed one health file they're all going to be random for you though so you may pick up some ammo or you may pick up a health file now what we can do here is just keep going straight there are two robots at the end, but dude's going to shoot him for us. Just on the bench here is another battery and another health file. Uh, so there we go. Meh. Now this guy is pretty useless. You think he's going to help us in sticky situations, but that is literally the only time he helps us. So, yeah. Cheers, buddy. You know what? You just sit drinking your goddamn brew while I risk my goddamn life. Anyway. Let's go ahead through the only double doors right here again. Try and smash open what you can. I got some SMG rounds again. Always going to be different for you. So don't panic if you haven't got the, the right things. Interact with this, this green bottle and then take it. Do not interact with the blue one just yet. Though that is something completely different which we don't need. Um, and then what I am going to grab is another battery. Now it's probably worth... Not grabbing a bat. If you see a battery like there, it's probably worth not grabbing one until maybe you are, you know, your battery or your torch level is quite low, and then coming back to grab it. Uh, but that's up to you. I end up grabbing them all the way, and my torch keeps topped up, so it's not too bad. So we just grab some pistol rounds before heading to the opposite way. 
Uh, again, no enemies are here, so don't worry about being jump scared and, you know, being crapped on robot style. There is another battery there. So that's what I say. You know, if you see a battery, maybe leave it a while until your battery's starting to run out and then you can grab it. But if not, who cares? Don't worry. So head through here. What we are going to do now is interact with this blue bottle machine. Now this, this is called Trenbolone. And that is what <laughs> bodybuilders use to get massive and ripped. Um, right, so head out. Now, as you can see there, we need the two things uh, on the Bunsen burner. We're basically being big scientists, yo. So we, what we're going to do is grab this blue bottle. Don't put it there. You need to actually interact with where it says place ingredients. So the bottle on the right, put the blue bits, and then put the sulfuric acid on the left bit. Then use the big, you know, gas infusing thing to make the ultimate steroid. All the girls will want to be you. All the men will want to be in you. Um, so anyway, when we've got that, it's basically a rust thing, so it's not actually steroids, which is a shame. I thought it was that easy. Damn it. Uh, nah -nah, I'm grabbing your dead robot body. Nah -nah. So, um, get your inventory out again, press on the select button, and then press the B button to use the steroid-infused rust stuff on it. And then we can finally press the B button to hold, and get our buns out of here. So, on the desk to the right, there's some more pistol rounds. And then what we're going to do is actually just go straight, grab this battery again, if you so required. So again, obviously remember to always turn your battery off with the left bumper if it's light and in the daytime like this. Head up the steps. Uh, there is nothing there, so nay, what are you panicking your butt bags off about that? Yeah. Some, some work. So you can smash some, you can't smash others. Make sure to grab another couple of pistol rounds right here. Now, there is this... Um, uh, vinyl record that you can grab, but it's not for an achievement or anything. It's lit, so you don't actually have to grab it if you don't want. Smash your way through here. Grab some more um, matches from the right-hand side. We're going to need them. Turn around and head up the steps. And then we're going to interact with this valve. So again, we're going to press B to use and hold it. Waza! And then interact with this lever. Call! 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 And then run down. Don't worry, you're not timed or anything like that, so don't panic. We're just going to head up all the way up this ramp. And then what we're going to do is get our Tinder matches, is what they're called. So again, oh, Tinder sticks, sorry. Oh, I get a message. Um, <laughs> I will look at that soon. So, once that's in, what we're going to do, uh, you can get hurt by the steam, as you can see, but go out with the damp controller, and then make sure that boy is spinning. And then from here, what you can do is just go back, we're going to head up the steps directly to our left. And there's a little gap we need to do. So we need to do a 100 meter sprint. And then right at the very end, press the A button. Hurrah! I did actually miss it first time. So there we go. Right, go to the end here just to grab some more pistol rounds. Again, we're going to try and scavenge ammo as much as we can. Jump down. Now, there are going to be two robots that will be appearing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to head straight for the lift. So there's a robot on our left. So on our right, jump over the rope. Go straight into the left and press the B button to use it. If not, press the left trigger on your D... Uh, yeah, left on your D-pad to get out your pickaxe. And press the right trigger, of course, to kill the robots. If you were in that certain situation. So that is how you get through um, each weapon as well. You just press left or right in the D-pad to get to whatever gun or axe you want. So, heading down. We are going to have to do some killing right now anyway. So go straight up to it, make sure your pickaxe is out, and then right trigger the crap out of it. There is another one that's going to start showing his way through here as well. Just through the doorway on our right, which craps me up a little bit. But you press the B button there to take the gun. And then left trigger to aim, right trigger to shoot. And, oh, hey, almost getting myself mashed up there. So, uh, yeah. So he will come at you... Again, it's random, because he may not hear you for a bit, or he may come at you straight away. So you've just got to be quite careful with that. Um, the amount of enemies in the area will always remain the same, but it is, it'll be a bit random to where they're placed, um, or if they're going to come at you quicker or slower than what they did for me. So what we're going to do is grab this box here, place it down, and then we can just jump up. There is actually nothing of note for um, anywhere in this room, so we're just going to jump straight up, grab this next box, and pop that down, because for some reason, Nora can't just, you know, put a pickaxe down and then climb up very quickly, for some reason. Note there, if you want it, otherwise we're just going to interact with the radio. 
Uh, there's nothing in this locker. I don't think there'll ever be anything in that rocker. Uh -huh. Rocker? I meant locker. Again, don't worry, there are no enemies in this section either. So what we can do is just go on a little bit of a hunt. A little bit of a hunt for things. So in this little desk right here, um, press the B button to wh uh, whap out some more pistol rounds. Head up these stairs and there's going to be a box for us to smash and grab. Uh, SMG, a couple of SMG rounds there for me. Uh, but for some reason I tried picking up this um, plank of wood. Because yes, that looks like ammo. <laughs> Don't be so goddamn stupid, me. Right, head down the steps. There's another battery there which comes in handy because I was about halfway down. Keep heading down. Head through this bit of water and in the sort of right hand corner of this Room, there's going to be another box for us to smash open. A couple of pistol rounds for me. Again, it's always going to be totally random and different for you. Smash through these. And then there's going to be another box for us. Jump over. Uh, as it turns out, there was nothing in there for me that time. Well, that sucks. Right, head up the ladder. There is nothing else of note. Uh, because I did have a look around. Always kept having a look around. But there was nothing else there. Now what we're going to do is just head around right here. There are a couple of pistol rounds on the floor, by the way, so make sure to pick them up. Head around, head around, head around. And there we go. So now we've got an open door. Uh, you've got to click in the right stick, sorry, to uh, crouch as well. Sorry, I did forget to mention that earlier as we grab the pistol on the left. So click in the right stick to crouch. But again, you've got to hold it. You can't you don't can't just click it in once and then you stay crouched. You've actually got to hold it in. So smashing through these boards here on the left of where we came. We're into a little cafe area, so make sure to break up the box, which is the rifle cartridge. Um, yes, it is quite creepy in this sort of, uh, kind of reminds me of Bioshock for some reason. Uh, there is nothing in here of note, so don't worry, we're just going to go straight through here. And this is the end of this particular area. Uh, you can have a look around if you want, pretty sure there is nothing that we can grab, so head straight for the double doors, end the scene. And again, if there are any cutscenes... We are just going to skip it by pressing the start of button off. And we're going to end up back in the library. Now we're going to get a missable achievement here. So go straight from where we started. Head up on this planter. And right here is where a key is. So make sure to take that key for the missable achievement called Forward Planning. So again, remember, very important to grab that before we move on. So when you do that, we're just going to head all the way up the stairs and go through the same door that we went through earlier. And then what you have to do is just go through the same hallway, do the same thing we've done to get to Hakovic. 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 So this is where the nitty gritty bo bitty gun crippy shitty titty gun stuff begins. Uh, basically we're going to start shooting robots like hell now bruh. So remember press the right or left on the d-pad to get to whichever weapon you want to. So obviously we're going to press right twice to get to the pistol. Left trigger of course, right uh, to aim, right trigger to shoot, X to reload your weapon. Pretty standard to be honest. So we're going to shoot this first robot here. He should just be chilling. So when they go on fire, that means you can actually stop shooting because they'll eventually die anyway. Head to the left slightly, you can see another one just with a light bulb on his head. There we go, so give him the shots of life. You know, again, try not to go, and as you can see, he's on fire. We're going to leave him because he's just eventually going to die. He'll run away. Again, try not to waste all of your ammo because as easy as it is, 
you can easily run out of ammo if you just go in wild and willy-nilly with it. So, just be careful with that one. So, press left on the D-pad there, just um, open up that box, and then we can start heading through the centre. There is another robot in the middle, but he's not going to bother us just yet. Grab another one here. So, that should be uh, three health files for me. Now, press up on the D-pad to use your health file if you are needing to, or if you are wanting that. Um, now, just in this cart, we're going to do a little bit of jump, hop, skipping and jumping like a proper leg end. Oh, there is another robot right here, so we're just going to shoot this broski to death. Luckily for us, he can't actually climb up, so we can just shoot him dead. And then we can happily just go ahead, go into this cart, smash this box open, get a couple of rifle cartridges. Job done. So there is one more robot in the middle, but again, we won't worry about him for now. Um, we're just going to whap open our pistol. Now, there is actually nothing of note in this room, so no, don't bother going in this room. Just turn around. Go into the room directly opposite. So I was just having a look for the robot there, sorry. Uh, just go into this room opposite. Again, if you want, press the left button to get your torch up. Now, this is the typewriter. Very Resident Evil-ish um, to save if you are playing on hardcore mode. Go into this room, grab a couple of boxes open. And then, I always end up saving with a typewriter anyway, it's just in case something happens in the game, uh, whether it glitches out for some particular reason, which hopefully it doesn't, but you never know. So, if you see a typewriter, just save your game manually anyway. Just in case, because you don't want to do stuff, and then you get all fudged up, and then you get all annoyed and stuff. Right, so, every time you uh, destroy most, or all enemies in the area this little thing right here will have dropped down so what you can do is press the b button to use it and then you pull this thing out and what's going to happen is that shoot's going to come down so basically every time you kill most enemies in an area um it basically gives us a bit of story a bit of progression that we can actually go through whether it opens up doors or drops down shoots something like that so broski's not got no arms don't know what you're uh, going to attempt to do to me kill these two dead but there is going to be a robot up there which will start shooting us. Come on, die. Die. So, try, you can just see him at the top there. So, crouch if you want to, if it makes it easier. Left trigger, of course, to aim. Right trigger to shoot. So, just try and aim and kill um, this guy with the gun. You can't stay up in, uh, you can't stay in the open. His aim is pretty weak, to be fair, thanks to normal mode. <laughs> so, when you see that he's dropped, we should now be all good to go. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is actually go and grab a couple of more boxes to an area which I don't think was available to us uh, before we'd done this. I don't think it was anyway. Uh, so just come around to where we grabbed this box earlier and we killed that left robot. Go inside this building. Again, if you need to see, just press the left bumper, of course, to get your torch out. Press B to open up the door. And we've got a couple of things here we can grab. So another health vial. Um, if you need another health vial... Um, just, of course, use uh, use one, get your um, health all the way up, and then grab that if you uh, are full. And right at the very back, anyway, there should be three boxes for us to grab. Unos, dos, tres. My name is Pitbull. I like to get a shotgun, because I'm bald and angry. Yes, my name is Pitbull. Uh, that's, that sounds like a Pitbull song, anyway, to me. Nothing else of note anyway, the three boxes and the health file we can grab, and now we can just move on. It's a nice area, I would have liked to have lived in this town. Actually, I think a lot of people would like to live in this town now, where there's nobody about. Everyone is very antisocial these days, and who can blame everyone? So, don't worry, there's no robots or anything up here, but there is another achievement for picking up the SMG machine gun. Uh, there it is, and again, this comes in handy, but again, ammo can be quite scarce, so, like I say, don't just use the one weapon on everything all the time, because you'll soon run out, and then that'll screw you up in later levels. So, keep switching between each gun, uh, just to use up a little bit of the ammo a little bit more. So, what we're going to do, we're hit, dropping down here, going through this door on the left, and we can see there is another... Don't close the thing. Another couple of SMG rounds to grab, or something or other, whichever it'll be for you. Now what we can do is head forward, and there's going to be like these little little uh, metal testes, little metal testicles that are going to walk towards you. That one's fine, he... <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, he smashes that one up. Just go through this alleyway, there is a box that we are going to break. Skablemo! <laughs> Excuse me again, Marge. 
So another couple of pistol rounds there for me. But make sure to get your machine gun ready because another two <laughs> two balls are going to come flying towards your face. And they're quick. They're like sort of R2-D2s but they've got chicken legs for some particular reason. How can we make this more scary? Stick a couple of chicken wings on them, that'll do. Make them look like, uh, you know, whatever's anyway. So heading through this door here, we're going to grab a couple of SMG rounds, another battery for our torch. Um, but that's it for this area. So what we have to do, there's a set of stairs you can see there, which we have to get up. So what we need to do is use three boxes. But the only annoying thing is, you've got to place them in such a way, because Chicken Cormenora, for some reason, her jumping is genuinely weaker than a baby's who can't actually jump. She just, yeah, she can't literally climb. She's got to have the tiniest little step, like a toddler, when they're trying to pee for the first time on a step on a big, big, big toilet, you know? So, we are going to need to grab, so we kind of need to make it kind of like steps. So, for some reason, she can't just, you know, put her elbows down and climb up, no. So, we need to grab all <laughs> three of the boxes. There's nothing else in the room, so don't panic about that. Uh, there was a bit of an edit, by the way, because it was taking me forever and a day to try and get up. Just didn't seem to work. So you might be able to get away with it with two boxes. Again, if not, don't panic. You can just grab this third box right here. Um, now, sometimes what you might see, and which is why there was an edit, was one of the boxes decided to fling off and fly away. Uh, but that's fine. All it did was actually go just to the right. As you can see, decides to go off all in his own. Like, um, old Nora's got some, you know... Some of that mega rusty steroid strength in her or something. Maybe she took a bit. Which I don't blame her, to be honest. If you're going to be in a place on your own, you might as well be the biggest bro in there, huh? Biggest girl bro in there. Yeah. So, eventually... <laughs> and I really mean eventually. We are going to get this. So, grab all three boxes. Put them, in, put them in such a way that you can just climb up these next set of steps anyway. It took too long for me. Oh, in fact, no, there we go. Did we get it? Oh, fact. God damn, finally we got it. So, now we can just happily keep climbing up. And when I say happily, of course, I mean very happily. Uh, turn right around on yourself to grab another box. A few SMG rounds. So even though no one's lived here for 20 years, there's still a lot of supply boxes for us, huh? Right, jump down. Should be okay. There are no enemies still in this area for the moment. So again, you can um, unclench your butt cheeks for a minute. Nobody's going to sneak out on you. So you can put those pants away. You're not going to need to change them yet. Another battery acquired. Again, if you don't need the full battery, you can leave that one there and pick that up a little later on if you so wish. Uh, but you know the drill by now. I'm not going to bother saying any more. Uh, grab this box full of random yum-yums. And again, for some reason, I grab another battery, which then I realized, why am I doing that? <laughs> so anyway, hit up the steps. Head up the steps. Grab this massive bit of pistol runs, and that's all we can do for now. For some reason, someone decided, right, before I leave, I'm going to piss everyone off and just put a random seti in the way for some reason. <laughs> well, a lot of fights going on in there. So head out and go to the left here. We can grab um, or smash our way through. Now it's going to start getting into robot shooty shooty McShooty territory. Directly on our right here is a robot, so we're going to shoot this bro dead. Meh, you gonna die. Again, you know, if you can, shoot their arms off so they can't actually hurt you. If not, then just shoot them dead. Because <laughs> either way, it's a win-win for you. Lose-lose for them. So what we can do now, uh, whip our torch back on. And we're going to head through this little bit of... Um, uh, smash more of these planks because in this room there are some more ammo plus there is a new weapon for us to grab the shotgun randomly having a chill up against this so that's going to be yet another achievement 12 a.m. and the shotgun for me is my favorite weapon in the game anyway um, it really does a good bit of damage to robots up close so go into the room opposite and take another couple of SMG rounds you can have a look uh, there is another battery there if you want it but I don't think there's actually anything else of note in this room. So we should be good to go now. So what we can do is just actually start heading up these steps after we just grab these couple of SMG rounds. I do go into the back of this room. There may be a typewriter right there for you where that vinyl disc record was. Um, just to save if you want. If not though, again, nay panic, 
let's just move on upstairs. There are going to be three robots that are roaming this hallway, so get your machine gun ready, or your shotgun, whichever you prefer. If you can't see any, shoot once or twice, and they're going to start coming towards you. So just sort of stay around to the top of the stairs, they're going to start running towards us. There's a one, there's a two, ba bum 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 Now a third one might come towards you, he might start trekking around. <laughs> we just, just, we screwed him up. Lucky! Now, I end up going into this room a couple of times, but there's actually a room directly on our right as you come off the stairs, which is the room I was actually trying to look for. Uh, there is another robot in this room, so get your gun ready again. So there was me uh, kind of surprising, <laughs> surprising myself there. Uh, so just get your gun ready, shoot this bro dead, and that's it for this hallway. Uh, so you can have a look in here. The only thing that are in, is in here is just by... Um, is a pistol just on this table by the kettle. Otherwise, the actual room that I was going for was, if you turn directly around and sort of to the right from the room we just came out of, was this room. That's the room I was looking for. Uh, because in this room, there is just another shotgun with a couple of uh, shotgun shells. So you may think, even though it's only six that we grabbed, I'm telling you, those six do come in handy. Hardcore mode would be ridiculous, by the way. Because ammo is very scarce. So, we're all good with this. You can have a look in this room. There is a box that we can smash, grab, grab, and smash. For another three shotgun shells, for me anyway. And with that, we can now just head up. There's nothing in the bathroom opposite, so nay, panic yourself. Again, always make sure that you've got a machine gun ready, and that you've got plenty of ammo in it. We've got a couple of uh, balls coming towards our face again. Ah, stop slapping me in the face, bows. So you don't actually need to go upstairs, I thought there was something to worth breaking, but there is not. Uh, so on this floor, don't worry about the bathroom, there's a couple of pistol rounds here. To the right of us, there is a doorway, an open doorway, that we're going to go through. It's this one. So head through here. There is a health file on the left of us. Uh, we did just walk past it. So if you need, well, it, again, like I said, it's always worth uh, making sure that your health is topped up. And grab any health files that you can, so we're all topped up, we're all good to go. In this room, there is something that we can break, um, but the ammo is full. So if you see this, what I always end up doing is just um, reloading all our weapons anyway, just to be on the safe side, um, just in case, you know, something does pop out and try to machine, us, machine gun Kelly us to death with his terrible, terrible, terrible music. Yes, machine gun Kelly has terrible music, and I don't care who I've offended. And he's bloody weird, man. Uh, but anyway, so, if you can't, and ammo's full, that's fine, you've got all your guns reloaded, ready to go. Head towards, uh, out and towards the flashing light, we're going to grab a couple of, sh this shotgun for a couple more shotgun shells. And this is basically now the end of the scene. There's nothing else in this room, we can just head straight to the double doors for another cutscene. Rosendahl! Uh, but who Rosendahl is, if you are watching the cutscenes, you'll know who he is. If not, this statue here is who we are looking for, Walter. So, our boyfriend... Boyfriend, colleague, secret lover. That is who we are looking for. So Walter, for some reason, went into the past, come here, went, uh, turned into the king, and uh, now we're looking for him. Job done. So, heading the opposite side there, to the left of where the statue was in this room. Um, smash open. Eh, get away from me, robot. Kill this broski. Uh, don't smash these just yet. There is another robot here, so we're just going to shoot him deader than a dead thing on dead street. And you might hear a noise, it sounds kind of spooky, because like something tapping continuously, but I don't actually know what that is. I think that might just be something glitchy in the game. So there's one box there we can grab, there's another health vial uh, on the floor you can grab if you need it. A couple of shotgun shells on the shelf, another box for us to smash open. That's a battery which I did actually desperately need. And there is one more box outside which I failed to grab, so just to the right as we go outside, make sure to grab that one. And then we can head inside and start the stuff lovely. So, whack open your pickaxe. Uh, smash these open. Now, in this next room, there are going to be a couple of faster robots. You know, like the ones from um, I Am Legend? The ones that run towards you at a fantastic speed. So, get your machine gun ready. If you can't see one, just shoot. And here he comes. So, shoot him dead. There is going to be another one that will come through the door. There he is. Does make a hell of a noise as well. Absolute hell of a spooky noise. And then there's going to be this robot as well, which you can just shoot dead. Deader than a lovely thing on your dead butt. Or whatever. 
So, uh, turn on your lamp if you want. There's a little box for us to smash open just to the uh, right of where we were, actually, shooting those broskies. Uh, that's ammo. That's not actually a battery. Uh, so you can grab those now if you so wish. Next, we can head out. <laughs> if I can. Yeah, there we go. Right, head past the bar here into this sort of bathroom. And on the toilet, somebody has taken, well... There's a suspicious brown bit of powder and a suspicious white bit of powder. I wonder what's gone on there. Uh, but make sure to grab the shotgun shells. That's what we're doing. Another health potion if you need it there as well. So again, top up your health and grab that if you need it. What we need to do now is go behind the bar. Is that exactly what we're doing? So behind the bar in this room, turn your lamp, uh, turn your lamp off and just grab a couple of these boxes. Smashy, 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 smashy. There we go, you'll get, again, random assortment of things you will get. For me, it was a battery and a couple of other things. Right, and that's all we need to do from this area. So I end up grabbing these, uh, oh, sorry, it is a battery. I said it was ammo. No, it is a battery. My bad. So if you need it, it is a battery. If not, what we can do is head out this door, and we're going to shoot. There should be two or three of these enemies here. So, again, whap up your machine gun, and just shoot two of these. Again, you know, their aim is pretty useless, so, uh, you know, you should be good to just uh, not hide in cover. So when you kill those two dead, now, because that whole thing has dropped down, as you can see, that thing in the distance, um, it's dropped all the way down to the floors. That means there are, there are no enemies in the area now, but don't be so sure. There may be one that will hide around the corner, so just be aware of that. Don't think that it's all good, and that it's all rainbows and happiness and sunshines. <laughs> Because there may still be one that wants to kill you dead. So, go across, obviously, the pipes and heading up the ladder. This is why I'm going to get my shotgun ready. I, sometimes there may be one that will hide around the corner and wait for you. So other times, apparently there's not. So, worked out well for us in that instance. So, if there is no one here, again, just press the B button to use it. Pull out this, um, you know, this thing. And then job is a good one. Uh, you don't actually grab it, so nay panics about that. So we can just go back the way we came, across the pipes again. But there are going to be a couple of enemies that will appear in the cafe, or the place that we just were. So again, don't just run through willy-nilly, because... <laughs> willy-nilly. That, that is funny, I swear. Uh, yeah, so just don't run through it, you know, trying to be the action hero. There are a couple of enemies that will appear, so get your shotgun ready. It's going to be one of those fast boy enemies. And he does appear. There he is. I absolutely cr I did crack my pants, actually, because I couldn't see him. <laughs> so he is there. So make sure to grab him. And now when we go on the outside, there's going to be another three of these fast enemies with machine guns. If they're not um, in our direct view, what we need to do is go all the way to the other side of the map. And for me, that is where exactly all three were. So as you can see, there's one there. So we end up uh, just giving them the old shotgun of life. And the other two are going to be directly down here, hiding, making me crapple my pencils. So, you can't actually shoot. You have to reload and you have to wait until the reloading animation is done, of course. So, you know, shotgun always takes, you know, literally one second to do. Ah, you son of a... in your butt bag. Right. So, when those three are done, we can now head just underneath this um, half-broken shutter. We're going to just smash open this box, grab another couple of whatever yum-yum deliciousness is in there, and head through the door directly in front of us. Smash open another box, which you can't do because you can't actually um, open it up, so please ignore me. And then just, again, press in the right stick there to crouch, and head through. I think there's going to be about five or six enemies in this area. A couple of ball sacks are going to be slapping you in the face. There's one. And a couple of the light bulb robots. Skablemo Marge. Blemo, blemo, blemo. Again, like I said, it's always worth... Um, <laughs> now, what these do is actually, if they come up to you, they will explode and take quite a considerable amount, amount of chunk of health off. So that is why we need to kill them quickly first. But that is why I always sort of switch weapons every now and again. Because you'll end up running out of ammo for one. And then it might screw you up for later levels. Or, or later or, um, later fights. So keep swapping your uh, guns out for now. There is another couple of these. We just killed one. There's the other one. And that should be good for this particular area. 
So we need to jump down, but we're not going to jump down yet. There are three ball sacks that we are going to... <laughs> metal ball sacks. So there's three ball sacks that we're going to kill. They do move around quite a lot, so just wait for them to stop. And then just try and shoot them as quick as you can. Again, because I don't... Because I haven't ended up using the pistol that much, that's why I'm just using the pistol now. Because I have used the machine gun quite a bit. There is going to be a shooty boy as well. There you go, you can just see him popping around the corner. So make sure to kill him first, because of course he poses more of a threat. Even though his aim is uh, worse than all men trying to go to the toilet at 3 in the morning. And let's be honest, we are terrible with that aim at 3 o'clock in the morning, half asleep. Always ends up some on your foot and some on the floor, which then your missus has got to clean up. Oh, sorry. Sorry, girl. Sorry about that. Oh, sincerely, all men. So anyway, once you have killed them dead, again, use a health potion if you want. Otherwise, we can just now pull out the key and jobs are good. Uh, make sure to grab this box here from directly behind us. Again, a little battery for me. I'll take that. And then we can just head all the way back up. Bit of a linear path, um, just heading up all the way until we get onto the roof. There we go, and a lovely bit of smash and grab. Now we can jump down without breaking our legs somehow. Uh, another cup, another box there for us to grab and smash, and now we can just head through the right here. So back the way we came. Now there may be an enemy here, I don't think there is, but again, always just make sure to get your machine gun ready, because there are definitely a couple of enemies. When we head through the door here on the right, there is going to be another couple of balls, uh, slapping you squat in the face and a couple of light bulb robots. So be careful because one of the um, the one of the balls may <laughs> one of the old ball chicken legs may appear from directly from the right as soon as we go out. So there's going to be well, there's that one. Uh, there is another one. Again, like I said, if you're having trouble spotting them, just shoot once and they'll start running towards you. That will honestly probably make it a lot easier. So I'm like, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And then. Ah, you son of a monkey! And there it is! <laughs> so, shoot him dead. There's a third light bulb robot as well. And of course, as you can see, there is another chunky ball in our view. So, kill him dead. And apparently, my aim is worse than all men trying to wee at 3 in the morning as well. Um, <laughs> so, so, I mean, it takes a little bit of health off. I did say a considerable chunk earlier, didn't I? But I meant just a little bit. Anyway, heading up over the ramp, and you, we come into this new dark area. Again, nay panic, because there's not a bother of not a bother of not a enemy in sight. <gasps> Rosendahl. Walter Rosendahl, who I thought was just Walter. Right. No enemies in this area, but again, if you can't see, just turn your lamp on for a little bit. But what we're doing is just heading down here, so it's sort of to the left, and then we're gonna <laughs> take it back now, y'all. One hop this time! Uh, but going back on yourself, we're gonna head up these steps. And then what we're gonna do is make sure to do a massive run and jump. Same again, massive run and jump there, until we get to the very end, because it is important that we grab this um, valve wheel. Wheel valve. Wheel valve. So make sure to jump over again. Um, I think if you fall, you'll just hurt yourself very badly, so you'll just have to use a vial potion. Um, and then the just at the bottom of the stairs here is where we can put the valve wheel, is what it's called. Open ourselves up. Well, um, you know, love each other. <laughs> oh. Mushrooms, brothers, secret lovers. Wait, what did I just say? <laughs> anyway, moving on, uh, again there's a, p a health a potion, health vial, whatever it's called there, if you want to on this desk, battery if you need it, couple of, um, a couple of rounds of ammo in the desk as well, so that's all good. We are coming up to the rifle actually, we're going to be grabbing the rifle in just a moment as well. I'm going to head through this door, there is another potion if you need it. Um, a couple of SMG rounds and another typewriter we can use to use a save. Now, I always keep going in, in each individual save slot. You know, again, just in case that you maybe miss something earlier on, you know, it's always worth doing that. So grab the rifle from here. This is going to come in very handy for this section. Uh, it's not too difficult, um, but as you can see, with the left trigger, 
um, you can see from a mile away. So it's always worth just shooting whatever enemies you can see in the distance. It's always worth shooting them now so you don't have to deal with them later on. So shoot the first guy there. We're going to grab the box. Um, I don't think there was any way that you could um, make the aim a little bit smaller on the rifle right there. Um, I wasn't too sure. Um... <laughs> but I didn't actually try, so that's probably why. All right, couple of enemies here. So what we're going to do is we're going to stay on this bit of step, bit of staircase right here, just to be safe a little bit, because there's this one robot, and there are a couple of uh, floaty little balls just running around and having a chill. So, and of course, there's one robot there we just decided to kill as well. So two of these floating around, so just kill them uh, with whatever weapon of choice you prefer. Bam, blam. So, with that done, heading to the tunnel just um, right there where we go. There's going to be a couple of rounds in there for us. Now, there's going to be a couple more enemies as we head over here. Don't worry, it doesn't get too packed or anything. But, obviously, you just want to shoot these as quick as you can. So, there's one on the left, which we're going to kill. So, obviously, if you go straight into the middle, they're all going to come straight towards you. So, sort of stay here. They will start just appearing. One in the middle, one on the left there. And there is another one that's going to appear on the right. There he is. So, I mean, obviously, if you want to, you can just go up to go up to them with a shotgun as well, or you can stay safe, use your rifle, machine gun, whatever it is you want. So, with three of those done, another couple are going to appear, so stay on your toes. Stay on them cheesy toes of yours. Uh, but what we're actually going to do is actually get our bolt rifle. Now, on the stairs directly in front of us, there is going to be a couple of these enemies. So, we're going to just take care of these. I think there's two that are directly on the stairs, directly in front of us. So, one at the sort of top right-hand corner, one in the middle, I believe that was. Um, until... Holy crap, where did you just come from? So, kill... Eh, go away. Kill that robot. Little, uh, little chunky chicken leg ball. Ah! <laughs> wow, that was a very manly scream. I meant, ah, oh, I am a scared. There is one on, uh, just going to come directly in front of us as well, so shoot him, so that'll be two light bulbs and one chicken leg ball sack. What we're going to do is grab another achievement right here, so go up this little staircase on the right, head in. Now, if we go into our inventory, you should have Shrubling's key, so we can go in, and when we go into this room, the achievement called Reviving the GDR should unlock. For some reason, it literally took around a minute for me to unlock. So if it, if the achievement hasn't unlocked yet, just wait here until it does. Not sure why it took... <laughs> there it is. So I'm not sure why it took so long to unlock. But as soon as you enter the room, um, I just had a little flick around with the radio, seeing what I could do. But just entering the room should be sufficient enough for the achievement to unlock. Just wait here, though, until it unlocks. Once it's done... Be on your guard because there's going to be two or three of these chicken leg balls and a couple of shooty boys as well. Um, now I got myself all sort of messed up right here <laughs> and got exploded as well. Uh, so if that's the case, just hide behind these boxes for now. Get yourself a little top up potion. Get your guns and your ammos ready and shoot these twos as well. So sometimes it's easier to just swip, swap to the shotgun instead of uh, reloading your ammo. Sometimes it is just a bit easier. So remember, because we killed those broskies on the stairs, they should be no problem. We can just head into here where they were all hiding. Oh, that's lucky for us. We get a little health file as well. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get our rifle ready. Again, top it up with ammo if you so wish. Because as soon as we uh, get to the top of these steps right here, turn directly around and there's going to be five shooty boys. That are going to try and shoot you dead. So what we're going to do, turn around and we can actually hide if you want just next to this pillar of this sort of staircase right there. So, shoot, shoot, I think there's about five. It's annoying when they start moving. I mean, if enemies didn't move, um, you know, shooting games would be a hell of a lot easier, wouldn't they? Just something, uh, you know. In fact, you know what, Rata Liker and the like are going to come up with that now. A hardcore shooting game where the enemies don't move so you can kill them easier. So you can get, uh, you know, 5,000 Gs in one second. Uh, but as soon as you've got all five of those done, and you're not being shot at, and you're very sure that you're not being shot at, head up, 
Um, you can go down and have a look around if you want, but there are no items or anything here to collect. Uh, so don't worry about that. So we can just now head up the steps lovingly. There may be... No, I don't think there is any enemies now. So what we can do now is just follow the linear path. So go around here. There's a set of steps on the left. And just keep following the exact same path that I do. It's very linear. Nowhere else to go, really. But there are no enemies. So we can just chill out now until the very end. <laughs> and then we've just got half hour of the game or so left. Eh. Me. So there is another typewriter here that we can use to save if you want, but it makes no difference because we are literally at the end scene as we go through the door anyway. There may be an item there to grab, if not, do a panic again. There is going to be a little cutscene once again that we are going to skip. Um, but, ah, oh, look at that, this is a little... Hey look, it's Chicken Coma and <laughs> little Chicken Tiga Walter. Well, that made no sense. But uh, he does have a picture of us, which is quite nice, so he just decided to go into this parallel dimension and sort of leave us behind, but still remembers us. I wanted to be queen, bro. You get to be king. I wanted to be queen. I mean, if it's anything like Queen Elizabeth, you can sit in your butt for about 96 years and do nothing and get paid mega bucks. Anyway, so the, down this linear path here into this room, um, we are going to grab that. That is a health file that you can grab if you want it. That is exactly what I'm going to do. There is a box as well. But there may be a chicken leg ball outside, so that's why I very gingerly go around the corner, because there may be an enemy that will start coming up towards you. So if there is, you know, obviously shoot him dead. If there's not, don't worry yourself about it. Um, but I do get my shotgun ready just in case. So there may be one here, and as we are heading down the hill, there may also be a light bulb robot that will start charging towards you. For me though, I don't know if it was lucky or if they just took them out of the game, there are no enemies, so that's nice, just nice. Great success! So uh, yeah, it's all very eerily, very eerie right now and stuff like that, so we can head down, grab this box. And honestly, it's why I kind of enjoyed this game, and the problem with darker skies and grey skies, as we just go to the left here, um, I felt like there were certain situations where at least being able to use a gun in Grey... If you haven't played Grey Skies, I do have a guide for it up on my channel. But it's very stealth, so it's kind of similar to this. But obviously where we're shooting, in Grey Skies and Darker Skies, you've just got to run away from things. And it gets it can get very annoying. Um, but that is why I did very much enjoy this one. Because of the fact that we can just use guns. And we can just shoot stuff instead of trying to run away like a pansy. So, anyway... You, everyone's got their own different opinions on that. I still enjoyed the game, but I did enjoy this one very muchly. So, there are a couple of chicken egg balls down here. Now, there's going to be about four or five of them, which is why I am staying just on top of this train. And I'm kind of going to kill, going to try and kill at least two or three, so they're not all overwhelming. Because imagine if five of these balls get stuck inside you and then explode. Well, I mean, you make a whole ton of money on OnlyFans, I'm telling you that much. But, I um, mean, in real life... Would probably pinch just a little bit. Uh, so there are, I believe, about four or five that are just running around. So again, try and use... Again, wh what I try and use is whatever I've got most of the ammo of. So if I've got more ammo pistol, uh, pistol ammo, I'll try and use that just more. Just so it sort of evens out so I'm not running low on one or two of the things. So now we can jump down. One <laughs> may sneak up on you as well, so, you know, just be... Just be on your guard. But hang into the train that we were just on is another box with a couple of rounds of something for us. Again, get your shotgun or whatever your preferred choice of weapon is out. And slowly head towards the end of the train station. There is going to be a light bulb robot. And again, always be on the lookout for the chicken leg ball. Man, every time I say chicken leg ball, it just, or chicken ball leg, whatever, it just really makes me want a Chinese right now. God damn. Damn, I'm starving. So heading to this train, there's going to be 
Oh, okay, I just got exploded square up the booty hole. Well, that's, uh, well, that is what'll happen after a kebab on a night out, but still. So, uh, smash open this box here. And, yes, you get the same sort of explosion on the toilet as well. Uh, but anyway, that's for a different story and a different time. Uh, so we're going to head to the sort of left side of the train station now and head down. Uh, I thought there was one more that was following me, but it turns out there wasn't. So head into this train, and there's going to be another couple of uh, boxes for us to grab. Again, there is another health potion for me, so like I always say, if you need it, um, top up your health and then grab it. There's going to be one behind us as well, so make sure to grab that too. A couple of SMG rounds, that'll do me. Now we can actually head up this um, uh, ladder right here, just right next to the train. And there's going to be yet another box for us to grab. Only this time, we're going to jump onto the train. So that's how we're going to get to the next area. Jump on the train, make sure to jump over again. Carefully go over the plank of wood. And then, as you can see, that is where we are going. Now, there may be one or two enemies up here as well. Uh, only light bulb enemies. There's only one for me. There may be two for you, so smash them down with your rifle. And then just hop across the trains and then head up. And we are actually pretty much done with this area now. So all we've got to do is just head up these steps. There's going to be a just one random train just chilling, not doing anything. It hasn't been used for 20 years, but apparently it works fan just fan for us now. Another note there on the bench if you want it, if you're uh, going through the complete story. So what we need to do then is press the B button, and then there should be a switch just above the sort of... Um, it's not called a fireplace on a train, is it? It's... Something that thing F coal fiery bro um, Yeah, so there's a switch above there So what you need to do is press the B button here, which should be good You can see steam popping out of it and then just press the red lever switch just above the coal fire bro And that should be good to go and well just enjoy the next scene for the couple of minutes Before everyone tries to shoot you dead bleh Nah, actually nothing happens. We're all good. Hello everyone, welcome back to the library where everything is uh, supposed to be nice and quiet except uh, this time there's a whole bunch of dead falling bodies uh, just uh, starting to appear. Um, yes, yeah, so. So, in fact, no it's not this time, there's no dead bodies this time. I've just given away the next library one, so, ha, <laughs> fantastic. So just head down these set of steps, go past these bookshelves, and we just go through the door and then go through these same couple of... Um, hallways and stages that we've done in the past and we are getting there close to the end now we're roughly about 32 minutes or so away now from the end so run Nora run run to that chicken chicken coma Hey, do you read me? Looks like the gates are closed. 
Yes, I do. Actually, you know, I just realized I don't know your name. <laughs> what, you don't know the name of your queen? I am unbelievably... Now, this is the last area with any enemies in it at all, so you get about 10 to 15 minutes or so where there are no enemies and it's just a lot of chill. And I'll let you know when we uh, come up to the final enemies, because it surprised me, I thought there was going to be one big boy to beat, but there's no big boys to beat, so we're going to head down anyway, we're heading to the beach, and there's not really an awful lot of enemies in this area anyway. Uh, there's a couple of new enemies that we get acquainted to, uh, so a couple of dog robots, but that's not bad. So, uh, under the bridge there, smash open the box there for a couple of rifle cartridges. In this card, open up another box for a Batari, Battery Voltas, and Valtteri Bottas. And then we can just head up these lovely little ramps right here. And, yeah, this guy's saying that. Oh, I got a secret to tell you. Oh, no, what is it? As we just head up, and we're going to head up. I used to live here. Why well, thought it was going to be something like, I'm actually the enemy, you've got to go in a big shootout with me at the end, or something. But, uh, no, he is literally just a depressed bro that drinks tea all his life and doesn't actually help out apart from once. Nice. So, what we're going to do is actually head all the way down to this open shutter. There's going to be a typewriter in here and a note if you want to. Even though the game is just saved. We're going to save it again just in case, because, again, you never know what will happen. So, we're going to crouch underneath, and we're going to go underneath this shutter right here. Make sure to get your shotgun ready. I'm telling you now, make sure to get your shotgun ready, because there are, like I said, new enemies called these robot dogs, and they take two or three hits to go down. So, uh, come to the back of the room, grab a couple of pistols. You'll know where they are, because you're going to see some lights moving around. And then when they see you, those lights on their head will go red. Redder than a red thing that is on the end of your nutsack. There they are. So they're going to be straight around this corner. So make sure to grab that one. Hit that one dead. There's going to be two or three in each one. So for this instance, it's three. Now, I never let them get too close. So I don't actually know what they do when they do get close to you. Uh, so I can't actually tell you that one, sorry. There is another battery just on the uh, bottom right-hand corner right there, so grab that before heading up the steps. There's going to be another couple. As we get to the end of this room, turn directly to your right, and there's going to be another two dogs for us to shoot dead. Ah, oh, and a shotgun blast of the ass apparently doesn't affect these things. Only two shotgun blast of the ass. So, that's those two dead. Now, there may be another three at the end of this room. So, again, just be very vigilant. Be very much on them uh, cheesy toes of yours. <laughs> I'm just joking. But right, you can see a doorway right at the end here. There may be another three that will appear. For me, there's not. Um, so, but I am basically getting paranoid. I thought there was. So, again, there might be three for you. There might not be. But just be on your guard anyway, of course, just in case. If there's not, then, well, it just makes it life easier for us, doesn't it? And then we can just head down these steps, keep heading down. And again, I keep thinking that if they're not up there, there's something that's going to appear. But as it turns out, it doesn't. Uh, grab this box open to get another bit of ammo or whatever it is in there for you. Uh, make sure to do a little jumping housing right there on the broken staircase. And what you're going to hear is an enemy... As we get down this next set of staircases, I think. Yes, and it's the light bulb enemy. Just in the um, river below. <laughs> river. It's not really a river. It's a little bit of water. Uh, so just kill him dead. Because there's going to be another box that we're going to grab anyway. So, skablamo. Sk oh, shoot him right in the old robot junk. Oh, Right, there are another couple of dogs here. Now, they may be further away in the room. Random where they are, but they're is going to be another three dogs. Excuse me if you just uh, heard me accidentally burp there. <laughs> Sorry, that's a bit ever the professional that I am. So what we're going to do is actually kill these three dogs first in this room. Because the shutter, they can't actually get through. So it's just easier to kill these three dead. As soon as you do, go into the sort of little bit of water behind us to grab the box. And then we can move on.
So with the three dogs dead, the uh, light bulb dead, and we've grabbed the item, uh, grabbed the, smash the box in. Now we can press the B button to use and hold. Open up the shutter. But don't go slamming through just yet, because on the other side, to the left of us, on the outside, are about five or six of the shooty boys, shooty robocops, we'll call them. So ever slightly, just go to, just sort of um, have a look outside. Now, as you can see, there's already two on the left. Now, try a name for their heads, because you can actually shoot the railings, as you can see, that's exactly what I was doing. And nothing was working, so, well, that went well. A couple of wasted bullets, it's what I love doing, obviously. So, again, there's going to be two. Now, what I do, uh, there's going to be, like, again, five or six throughout the whole of these railings. So, I just end up sneakily popping out here, just to see where another couple are. There's one right in the middle of the brick wall right there. And another one will appear. God damn it, stop hitting the railings. Jesus, Anna, Buddha. So again, you can slowly uh, move out if you want. There is another one. I could just see him. There he is. Give it. Crappy Iron Man. A <laughs> useless looking Iron Man, by the way. So when you are sure that all five or six couldn't uh, remember, couldn't count and remember how many are done, um, there is going to be, I think, a battery or a health file just in one of these corners right here. There's going to be a little something that you can grab here. Um, I actually forgot where it was, so I didn't bother. <laughs> So it's not going to be in there. So with that, what we can do now is just very easily head across this bridge and give me it. Brent. Oof, look like a nasty fall, but again, we've broken nothing. We can just simply and very easily and very lovingly heal. And job's done. Alright, there's another battery here on the right-hand corner. No enemies in this area, so we can nicely and chillingly chill it. Uh, so we can just head down to this sort of bottom train right here, just to grab uh, two boxes. Problem, skablam. In fact, I think... Is that the end of the enemies? I'm not too sure. Anyway, head around again, and there's going to be a little shutter that we can go in. I think it might actually be the end of the enemies, you know. No, it's not. No, it's not. Sorry. No, we've got a big warehouse to go through yet. Uh, I mean, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing of note. Uh, so <laughs> what we need to do now is do the thing we grabbed uh, done earlier. So we need to grab a couple of these boxes, uh, make a little staircase. Now, as you can imagine, my days playing Jenga as a kid really pissed me off and I used to hate it. Because, uh, as you can see, I wasn't very good. So, uh, make sure you got that stacked up first before using the B button to press and hold this valve wheel. Because it'll start uh, shutting down. So, as soon as it's done, let go and just jump up before the shutters fall down. They do fall down quite quickly. Head down to the right here. There's going to be another box for us to break open. You can see it plain as day in view. Oh, another health vial acquired, which is going to come in handy. Uh, so jump up, keep going to the right. Uh, straight to the left, there's going to be another two uh, 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 planks that we can smash open and get through. Uh, for just another couple of boxes, that's all. They, they all come in handy, though. Oh my god, Nora, where are your legs, bro? She's doing this with no legs. God damn, it's impressive. Right, so what we're going to do, we're actually going to use our rifle. There's going to be a couple of light bulbs enemy. Uh, light bulb enemies that you can clearly see because it's the only thing that's sort of lit up on the walkways. We're going to need to do this because we need to run past them. Um, so just getting rid of these now makes it easier to run on the walkways a little later on. In just a bit, actually. So take the rifle there, use the lever, and you don't need to grab that. You can use the typewriter to save again if you so particularly wish. Otherwise, let's go out of here. Let's head to the left. Head to the left again, and we're going to grab open a couple of these items. Now what we're going to do, we need to um, uh, ugh, interact with a couple of levers, but we have to do it quick before a lot of enemies start swarming us. So, get your shotgun ready just in case. I, do, I will tell you to get it ready just in case, because there will be one chicken leg ball sack enemy on the floor that you will probably run into. 
So, if you're ready, go, go, go! So, while we're winning pickaxe, it's actually okay for just a minute. It's when we start using the next lever that things start appearing, etc. So, we're going to grab this box just on the train track that we're on. Eventually, there it is. Now what we do, I'm going to put it over to my shotgun, because we're going to jump down here, and in the middle of this room, there's going to be a lever. Ah, my legs! My legs! Immediately go over to the left, or sort of straight from where we were. There's another two boxes to grab if you so wish, but we're not actually going to bother. We're just going to go up the steps, turn directly around, and there is going to be... Well, there is going to be another box, which I will smash open here. After getting a little uh, healthy, healthy potion, potion, yum yums. Uh, get your shotgun back out. Use this next lever. We're going to go all the way back down the stairs now. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a ginger tanned man. Burnt and red as hell. Right, head back past. As you can see, there is the chicken leg ball sack enemy, so just kill him. Just keep running past the lever from earlier. Turn slightly right. Head up these steps. And up and up and up. And in this little room, there's going to be another lever. Now you can see why we got rid of those light bulb enemies from earlier on. Just jump straight down, stopping for nothing. Jump over here, and just immediately, quick as you can, interact with this lever. And that is us done. So it's not a very hard section. If you do run into one of the light bulb enemies, you can just sort of shoot them dead. Um, but again, try not to waste any time. Just do your Usain Bolt sprinting like a mama 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 legend. And this... In fact, that's it. That's it now. That is it for the rest of the enemies. We've literally got 15 to 20 minutes or so of chilling, killing, and no enemies. Which is just awesome. <laughs> which I, I was surprised with, actually. Uh, so all we need to do now is just head down the sort of train track. There is a typewriter on there that, again, you can save if you wish. But there is a box we can grab as well. But apparently now, uh, that's it. We, we don't need any more ammo. Because, honestly, I was expecting, like, a sort of on-rail section where some robots start chasing us. Uh, or something like that. But there was literally nothing. So, uh, you know, I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. Because I kind of suck at on-rail sections. So just head down the walkway. Right here. We are now coming up to Brent's building, actually. I thought we were coming up to the end of the level. But we are coming up to Brent's building. I don't know how people manage to walk across that. Imagine stumbling across that drunk. <laughs> Jesus. Um, there's nothing of note in here. All we're going to be doing is there's a staircase that we need to go up. So just keep going all the way up the staircase and up two ladders until we get to the roof. Well, this is nice. I wouldn't mind living on a rooftop, mind to be honest. A lot of gardening, though. Jesus Christ. So what we're going to do, we're not heading up towards here. We're just, it is kind of like a linear path. So just head around uh, through this little greenhouse section. Connection seems good. Everything seems great. Everything is dead. Awesome. A uh, little box in here, a little supply box for us to grab, if you so wish. Uh, as it turns out, there was nothing for me to grab this time. Uh, head out here. Now, there's two masts that we can see directly in front of us. The one on the very left, as we exited, had a ladder on it, which is exactly what we're going up. For some reason, though, I decided to get nice and confused. And then I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, there's a ladder right there. So, <laughs> climb up the ladder. Now, what you need to do is interact with this lever three times until you hear the clicking sound and the windmill is pointing sort of away from us and it is going constantly, there it is cluck cluck mother flup so with that one we can just actually jump on the greenhouse jump down and now we can head actually inside the Brent's, the Brent's house, so we can end the scene right here there is going to be another uh, cutscene which you can either watch or you can skip one important thing is though, we um, during the cutscene we actually grab a photo of Brent or Brett, whatever his name is, his wife, which is right there on the table, the, the table desk, whatever, so that is for an achievement just before the end of the game so again, that's not something you can miss, we will grab that um, 
we will grab the photo frame, the achievement you can actually miss later on, but the photo frame you will keep in your inventory. So, heading out of the door and heading down here, and basically all we're doing now is heading towards the train. We are literally, it's just a chill time now. It gets a little bit, in, maybe a little bit intense here with the dark, but all we're doing is just heading all the way down. Try not to crap your pants. Because if so, that's disgusting. Go in the shower, you dirty bugger. Uh, but no, all we're doing is heading out to the left here. Oh, you know what? No, I'm ever so sorry, I do tell a lie. There are two enemies left here. One with the rifle that we're going to shoot. And one can be in a random location. I'm so sorry, I did actually steer you wrong. Um, there are only two enemies left. After this, I'm pretty sure that's it now. Now, he may, this next light bulb area may be sleeping in this area. Um, if he's not, for me, he was sleeping on a train. So again, this second one's going to be in a completely random place. As you can see, the train, that is where he is for me. So I'm just going to shoot Broski dead. I know you had a family and stuff, but, uh, you know, try not to kill me in that. And then what we can do is just head on the boxes that are directly in front of us by the train. Come on, Chicken Nora. You've you've been doing good now so far. Let, let's, let's keep it up, broski, is it? <laughs> so, yeah, now I'm pretty sure there's no enemies. Uh, <laughs> so, apologies about that. So, we can head all the way directly around it. Because we are literally now just heading back um, towards the train to go towards the Red Forest. Which is where Walter, whatever his name is, is hiding. Go through the door, head to, uh, just interact actually with the third lever here, that is what will open up the city gates. Now my thinking is, why couldn't we have just, whoopsie daisy, accidentally just fell all the way down. Why couldn't we have just gone up those ladders, climbed up and then that would have just made the game a whole lot shorter I suppose, wouldn't it? And we wouldn't have had to deal with those robot dogs. Anyway, interact with the train. Press the B button until it goes all the way and it stops. Then press the lever, which is above the Cole Petty Fire McVitty Itty Bitty Titty Committee thing. Um, which, yeah, that, that is what actually makes you go. <laughs> so, uh, there it is. You can literally see it. Come on, it's just above the fireplace, douchebag. Oh, there we go. Look, yeah. Here we go, press the B button, and once again, nothing else happens. There's nothing else happening of note. You can just enjoy the scenery for the next minute or two. Hooray! Now I promise there are no enemies. Except for me, bleh! Okay, no, no, there are none. Hey Brent, seems like I'm about to leave the city, just passing the gate. That's good news. We're almost out. Our, uh, our connection is probably going to go dead soon. What about you? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm made of tough stuff. My place is here. If you say so. Take care of yourself. Okay. I would not have made it without you. I enjoy hearing your voice again. After all these years. Now, go on. I don't want to. I wish you nothing but the best of luck. Thank you. Goodbye, Brent. Off me today, Laura.
And, you know, so the whole thing about I thought Brett was going to be, like, this evil mastermind that, that brought us here and he's got Walter prisoner or something. Yeah, it turns out he is just a lonely old dude who misses his wife and just drinks a lot of cup of teas and he's living on his own for some reason. So, we've entered the library for the last time, so we're getting a treatment for that. And now, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of deadness bodies just randomly falling, which is, uh, nice. Thank God I'm not one of them. So we're heading up the steps, we are heading down, and we're going to go past the bookcases, through the door, and then through the hallways for the very last time. And like I said, now it's just it's just a chill time now. We've got about 10 minutes left. Let's just have a look. <laughs> that's what I believe and that noise should have been there when the bodies were dropping down. But anyway, that's, uh, you know, obviously the devs don't want this to be a comedic game, which I totally... You know, totally agree with. So, head through the hallways. Again, have a look at the stage one last time. I can't be bothered personally. I'm just going to go straight through, smash through the hallway, and get to the old red forest. So, for whatever reason then, Walter decided to go into this parallel dimension, become king of Hakavik, and then decided to take a train into the forest, when it all went to hell for some reason. So, job done. Right, do your, uh, you know, your massive legendary jump over. Um, it's basically just a straight shoot to the finish, but remember, it's not this house. When we get up, we, we're going to go up a set of stairs, you're going to see the sea. And as we turn to the left, there's another house. Behind that house is a set of graveyards, which we are going to use. Uh, uh, which we're going to see and get the final missable achievement. But remember to grab that before heading through the house. Uh, otherwise, it is just a lovely linear path. Nowhere else to go for now. We are, we are just in Rancho Relaxo mode. And you know what? I will actually give big props to the devs for this one. To go through all, you know, through all of the action of the game, to have like the last 10-15 minutes where it's just sort of walking around and a bit of chilling out, that's very Rancho Relaxo and I'm happy with that one. So, here we are then, it's a beautiful, beautiful area, here is the house that I was talking about then. So as we sprint towards it, and actually, you know, I'm going to give my thumb a break because uh, clicking up and on the left stick for ages was a bit of a chore. Uh, as you can see, so past the house, you can see a bunch of graveyards. The second one is going to be uh, Maria Frey Bentos Pai, or whatever her name is. Marlene Brent. Marilyn Brent. Frey Bentos Pai. Anyway, just press the B button to interact with it. We will get the I Will Never Forget This achievement. And that is done. So you can have a look at anything else, if you so wish. Otherwise, we're just going to head through the house to start the chapel scene. Now, luckily for us... Uh, this is basically it. It's going to be a cutscene now for a couple of minutes. Then what we're going to do to get the hardcore achievement is swap the press continue, swap the difficulty, and literally just do this scene again, and that is that. So press the B button there. Walter is, I mean, I don't know what the hell he's supposed to be, but it is a cutscene. So again, watch it if you want. We are going to skip it. I, I've got no idea what's going on, and I'm going to tell you exactly what it is now. So. There's Walter in the Walter? other dimension, what? alive and well, which is obviously confusing. So what we're going to do, we're just going to head forward. We're going to start falling. A whole bunch of dialogue is going to happen. End game. Chocolate that was capable of learning, learning, and then absorbing knowledge in cocoon. You, wait, you what? Ravish knowledge from us. Mutually. Walter, wait, wait, stop. For what price? Yeah, 
time in November. November. I knew that after this day, things would change for the GDR. The only possibility to ever find out what the agreement with Atlas really meant. No, no, wait. Wait a second. I don't get this. Then I became King Rosendahl. Worldly welcomed by the people of Hackett. Walter, stop! This all- this- this can't be! Walter, please, wake up! This is all wrong! After years of fighting fire, fire, I will continue with science. science. Now, I am a power cycle of powers, as Atlas is to this world. God. Walter, please! You didn't do any of this! Why can't we just leave? Why can't you just wake up and we'll go back home? It'll all be fine. Walter, please. It's too late, We are stuck here. Stuck in the librarians want us to fix it. I don't even get who they are. Where are we anyways? What the hell? Where was I for the last 20 years, Walter? I know you have so many questions. But time. No, no, you're not doing this to me again. You don't leave me again. I never want to drag you into this. I'm so sorry. Don't leave me! Please stop! We'll see each other again. I promise. So my guess is there's got to be like an industrial too because I want to know where he's been the last 20 years and why he's just bagged off again. Tell me, I need friggin' answers! Anyway, we can just press the A button here to skip through all the credits if you so wish, but a big shout out to honestly everyone who made the game there. A big shout out to, yeah, all the devs and everyone who worked on the game because that was quite an enjoyable game. I did very much enjoy that, but... Let us get the little uh, hardcore trick out of the way. So, when we come back to the main menu, we're going to press continue. As you can see, we should only have one achievement left, and that is for completing the game in hardcore mode, which, honestly, thank God we don't have to do that legit, because that I would have gone even bolder and even angrier. Hey, Mike? <laughs> right, so, as you can see, difficulty in the bottom right corner. Make sure to choose it to hardcore. Uh, don't load game. Uh, we need to choose the chapel scene, which is the very last one. So make sure the difficulty is on hardcore. Choose the chapel scene. And then literally all you got to do is talk to Walter once again. And that is how you get the hardcore scene done and dusted like I really hope Muckbus did. Split up soon because they are just goddamn awful. Awesome. And that's it. Lovely. Head forward. It, it should start... Um, unlocking, I think, during the credits. So, again, you just have to go through this next cutscene again for just a few more minutes. And that's the game done. Hooray! So, when I discovered that it was capable of learning, learning, that it absorbed any knowledge it could, freedom for knowledge, knowledge for us, a mutual. Walter, wait, wait, stop. For what price? Undoubtedly, a high one. Then came the 9th of November. I knew that after this day, things would change for the GDR. The only possibility to ever find out what the agreement with Atlas really meant. No, no, wait. Wait a second. I don't get this. Then I became King Rosendahl. Worldly welcomed by the people of Hackett. Walter, stop! This all this this can't be. Walter, please wake up. This is all wrong. After years of fighting fire, fire, I will continue with science. science. Now I am a power cycle of powers, as Atlas is to this world. God. Walter, please, you didn't do any of this. Deeply rooted into the inner workings, 
Why can't we just leave? Why can't you just wake up and we'll go back home? It'll all be fine. Walter, please. doing this to me again. You don't leave me again. I never want to drag you into this. I'm so sorry don't leave me. Me. Please stop. I'm so sorry. We'll see each other again. I promise. Walter, you son of a get the hell back here. Now normally every man would be like, yes, yes, dear, no problem. I'm sorry for leaving you for 20 years. <laughs> It was just, uh, an epic adventure. Or, you know, something seedy that you don't need to know about. Anyway, that is the end of the game. The achievement for the hard way should unlock right here. There it is. So, the hard way just became the easy way, so thank you very much. But there we go then, guys and gals. So, that was Industria. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well, and that the guide helped. If it did help, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with a friend as well. That would mean an awful, awful lot to me. Don't forget to check me out my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. Big shout-out to everyone on Patreon who continues to support the channel. And a big shout-out to everyone who just interacts with me on the daily as well. You guys and gals are just such legends. And that is that then, guys and gals. So thank you so much for watching again. I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye-bye. Big love.